Good evening po, brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining us tonight. It's really always a pleasure to, to be with you and uh, to have a Bible study. No? Um, we really are so happy. No? And ilang, ilang meetings na, no? ilang Bible study na ang uh, nakalipas. At ngayon, malapit na namang matapos ang taon. We are just so thankful for all your support at saka sa inyong uh, pagsama sa amin no every saturday and even yung every monday to friday nila pastor maraming salamat po at uh, sana po marami po talaga tayong natutunan at marami naging revelation ang Panginoon sa inyong mga buhay at uh, sana nagamit po natin ano um sabi ko nga ang reward po na ating pagbabible study ay yung katotohanan na nakakausap natin ang Diyos sa kanyang mga revelation. Hindi po lahat ng tao ay uh, binigyan ng uh, laya at blessing and favor na makausap ang Panginoon. So sa Bible study, nakakausap po natin ang Panginoon dahil ang ating pinag-aaralan ay ang kanyang mga salita. Ano po? So stay put po kayo dyan. We'll still talk about Christmas. And uh, bago tayo mag-upisa mo, pray ka muna. Thank you, Lord, sa um, blessing and favors na ginagawad mo sa amin lahat sa CHCC family. Um, we will look up to you yung, yung mga may uh, exams at saka may sakit. Heal them, O oh Lord, and bless them in need. Oh, oh, uh, for tonight, Lord, uh, give us a new uh, revelations of your words to the, to tonight. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 So last week we talked about uh, the Christmas sacrifice. Ano? Na ang Christmas, uh, tama lang po na atin siyang celebrate No? Uh, wag lang po sana mawala yung essence bakit natin celebrate ang Christmas and that is celebrating God's love for all mankind. Ano po, no? For God so loved the world, world that He sent His Son. No, yun po. No, at wag kalimutan na ang Father ang nagbigay ng gift na yan at si Jesus ang naging gift sa atin at uh, yung sa naman ay willingly natin ang gap yung kanyang purpose na pumunta sa lupa. At yun pinag-usapan din natin na. It took a lot of sacrifice, no? sacrificial love, no? yung ating father. Kasi wala namang ama na magbibigay ng kanyang anak para paro, ma, alam pa niya na mapapahirapan at mamatay ang kanyang anak. No? At uh, wala rin, um, sabi nga ni Jesus, no greater love than this, than to give one's life for uh, us. No? So, Ibinigay din ng Panginoong Yesus ang kanyang yes. Sacrificing yung pagiging God no? to uh, becoming human. Uh, so humble and uh, yung kanyang pagka-stay, pagka-panganak nga lang eh. Ano na no, sa sabsaban pa, napaka-humble beginning. No? And yung power ng Lord ay uh, hindi niya ginamit no sa maraming bagay. Pwede naman niya hindi gawin yung sacrifice pero ginawa niya because he loves us. No? So ngayong gabi, uh, tunghaya naman natin yung kwento. Hindi naman to bago. Alam ko, alam naman natin lahat. But hopefully, tonight, may bago din tayong revelation sa kwento ni Mary. Ano po? Na ating pag-uusapan. So, uh, look one. Arvin, pag-ibasa naman. In the six month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph on the, of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. 
he will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. Wow! And sita naman mo. Pakituloy. Luke 1, And Mary said to the angel, How will this be? Since I am a virgin, and the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, a ch the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your re relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceive a son and this is the sixth month with her who was called barren for nothing will be impossible with God and Mary and, and, ne, and Mary said behold I am the servant of the Lord let it be to me according to your word and the angel departed from her Siguro halos ma-memorize na po natin itong uh, kwento na ito, ano po, brothers and sisters, syempre, mula pagkabata, ay kwento na sa atin itong uh, verse na ito, uh, ng Luke, ano. And uh, dito pag-usapan natin na uh, Mary is really the favored one, ano. Sabi nga ng angel, greetings of favored one, the Lord is with you. O syempre, pag ako naman sinabi yan, no, tapos may angel. Siyempre, talagang sabi dito, she was greatly troubled. Ano yun? Ano yun? Saan yun? <laughs> Oo, at trinay uh, niyang i-discern. Ano bang ibig sabihin ito? So, but Angel Gabriel comforted her by saying, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. So, nabasa ko in an article that during those times, dahil alam nila that um, yung Messiah ay mapapanganap um, from a virgin, no? Lahat po ng mga babae, ng mga virgin, no? Unang panahon ay uh, umaasam na sana nga sila ang gamitin ng Panginoon na magpanganak ng Messiah, ano? At ito nga, no? So, hindi po kailangan Mary na may ganon na inaasahan ang lahat ng mga virgin na kababaihan na sana, no? Sila ay <clears throat> maging ina ng Messiah. And this one, so medyo na trouble si Mary uh, ano kaya ito no ano kaya ito na kaya ito na kaya yon no and uh, so sabi nga ng angel no do not be afraid Mary for you have found favor with God so ano ba yung favor na yon no? ang favor sa buhay niya is that she will conceive in her womb and bear a son and she shall call him Jesus Ano sabi ni Mary? No, paano po mangyari yan? Eh? Virgin naman po ako. Paano po ako mabubuntis? Eh? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. No? So ang Holy Spirit ang uh, gagawa ng paraan para mabuntis si Mary. Kaya ang tawag sa pagbubuntis ni Mary ay Son of God. Ako, overwhelming siguro. No? Parang... Ah, yung uh, magiging baby ko ay son of God. The God who made everything including me. Wow. Very overwhelming siguro. Hindi siguro maintindihan ni Mary kung happy ba siya, nervous ba siya, takot ba siya, ano? Oh, ang galing, no? So, but uh, since Mary is overwhelmed, medyo nagminor ng konti si, ano, si Angel Gabriel at uh, sinabi niya, na actually, yung ding pinsan mong si Elizabeth ay buntis din. No, para siguro, ah, hindi ako nag -iisip. Ah, totoo ito. Yung, yung alam mo yon yung si Mary, syempre. It is also hard to be in that position na may ganung balita. So, and the angel Gabriel emphasized that God has purposed this to happen. So sabi niya, even your cousin, his, who is called barren, no, is now uh, pregnant, you know, and for nothing will be impossible with God. Totoo naman, no, brothers and sisters. 
walang imposible sa Panginoon. Kahit bari, no, kahit virgin, pwede mabuntis kung luloobin ng Panginoon. Well, siya nga na-create sa atin, eh, no? Oh, in the deepest uh, part, sabi nga, of our mother's womb, He knitted us. No? So, anong response si Mary? Alam na natin yan. Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. Ako, napakabilis ng mga pangyayari. Siguro nung nahimas mo sa si Mary, ha? Ano, ano, ano nangyari? <laughs> Bilis na pangyayari. Buntis na ako, tapos anak ng Diyos, tapos umuo na ako kaagad. Well, talagang uh, napaka-favor ni Mary no? to, to have this uh, favor sa kanyang buhay na siya ang magdadala ng Messiah. So, sometimes the yung favor of God really overwhelms us with awe and wonder. You know? Paano mangyari yun? Pero, alam mo yung si Mary, hindi niya siguro makuntin. At sabi pa doon that yung ipapanganak niya will be great no and he will uh, ah he will be a king kasi the throne of david will be ano he will reign forever no and his kingdom will have no end ano kayo na imagine ni mary mon no sinabi yon kingdom wow king king no king. mayaman all powerful almighty king yung siguro yung naisip ni Mary, no? So, halo-halo yung excitement niya sa isip. King? Lord? God? Son of God? Wow. It must really be very exciting but overwhelming. Maalala ko nga mo doon sa nativity ng movie, di ba? Nung panood mo yun yun. Anag mo ba yan, Abe? Oo. <laughs> Nagta-travel na si Mary at si Joseph papuntang Bethlehem kasi mga anak na sa kasi nga yung census kaya kaila nila pumunta. No, tapos nung naka-station sila, uh, nagpahinga, nag-usap sila sa amin, ano nga yung ituturo natin sa kanya? Paglaki niya. Ay pag lupas niya, eh, mukhang alam naman niya, eh, hindi lang mukhang alam naman niya ang lahat. So, paano kaya natin palakin? So, nagwa-wonder silang dalawa. Totoo nga naman po, ano, Um, how will you bring up a son na anak ng Diyos? Diba? Medyo challenging yun. Ano? Laging pagsasabihan ko kaya, ituturo ko kaya, eh alam niya na eh. <laughs> Lagi siguro ganun si Mary and si Joseph. Ano? Ang galing. No? So the favor of God can overwhelm us with awe and wonder. No? Minsan hindi talaga maintindihan. I'm sure Mary was overwhelmed every day. Hindi niya malubos, maisip, hindi niya maarok kung ano ang nangyari. No, and yeah, sabi nga niya, servant din siya. Ano? And uh, he, she also needs a savior. The favor of God requires responsibility and sacrifice. So ang um, topic po natin, the favor of God. Ano? So the favor of God can overwhelm us talaga with awe and wonder. Grabe. Sa buhay na lang po namin, no? the favor of God really surrounds us na kung minsan, wow Lord, we can only say wow. But the favor of God requires responsibility and sacrifice also. No? When Mary said yes, siguro pagkatapos niyang nag-oo na, naisip niya, naku, paano, ano kayang mangyayari ngayon na? Ibig sabihin ko ba sa parents ko? Sabihin ko ba kay Joseph? Ano nang gagawin ko? Pupunta ba ako Elizabeth? No? So pumunta siya kay Elizabeth, di ba? So ipapanews ko ba to? Ano ba? Magre-rejoice ba yung mga tao? O yung maniniwala kayo sila sa akin? So ang dami, ang daming tanong, no? Uh, paano yan? Eh, ito pa naman ang sikretong hindi pwedeng itago, no? Brothers and sisters, ang pagbubuntis. Kahit na isikreto mo yan, lalaki yung chin, hindi, hindi kaya, no? Oo, so alangan naman, sabihin mo nakalulok ka lang ng ano, buong melon. <laughs> so, ang pagbubuntis ay hindi matatago. So, many questions in mind and wala siyang sagot. Kaya nga yung awit na, no, di ba? Mary, did you know that your baby boy has come to deliver us? Di ba? Parang gano'n. O kaya, uh, did you know that 
the boy that you delivered will soon deliver you. Oh, di ba? Hindi, no? Hindi alam. Okay, so, but then, dahil umuo na siya, whatever responsibility or sacrifice na kailangan in order to, ano, rear or bring up Jesus is gagawin niya na. Siyempre po, ang pagiging nanay, maraming sakripisyo yan, no? Hanggang mula pagpapadede, hanggang pagpapalaki. Hanggang tumanda nga, eh. May mga lola tayo dyan na akala nila tapos na ang responsibility sa anak pag nagtrabaho na, nagpamilya. Ngayon naman, apostolic, sabi ni Ma'am A. <laughs> apostolic duty, apo. <laughs> okay, so many questions siguro sa isip ni Mary, but since she said yes, when you say yes to the Lord, nasama na po ng responsibility and sacrifice. At uh, yung sinabi ni Lord sa kanya, mm. hindi pinagsabi. Mm. Mm. Sabi ni Lord, magiging anak ko yung... Oo, oh, uh, hindi na chinismis uh, na. Naging discreet lang si Mary, hindi niya ipinagsabi. Sa kanya lang. Oo, oh, oh, sa kanya lang. May mga Kasi, bagay po talaga yes. na ang... Sikreto ay ang sayo lang. Sayo lang. Si Joseph nagkamali doon. Pinamalita niya na magbabaw lahat kaya nagalit. Uh, yung dream niya na ano. So, si Joseph ay... Ay, Joseph na Mary ang sinasabi mo. Sorry, si Joseph na Prince of Egypt ang sinasabi ko. Oo, si, si Joseph din. Eh, Pinake siya. Siyempre, next week na natin ikawento yan. But uh, I'm just saying that when God gives us favor, sometimes hindi, hindi madaling intindihin na overwhelming. Pag humingi tayo ng favor, like, timbawa, sabi ni Arvin, sana Lord, you give us dreams in the desert. Ay, hindi naman po magic lang yun, no? May effort din po, my responsibility, my sacrifice. That's what I mean, no? The favor of the Lord has, uh, makes us, Uh, wonder, no? Uh, overwhelmed with awe and uh, syempre happiness and joy. But it comes with a sacrifice. So third point is the favor of the Lord has benefits and also consequences. No? So ang benefit ay talagang kasama niya ang Diyos. Pero mo yan, kasama mo ang Diyos araw-araw. Anak mo, di ba? Pinanganak mo. Ikaw ang ginamit para ipanganak ang anak ng Diyos. Wow, very, very happy siguro si Mary just thinking about it. Ano? So, the favor of the Lord has really many benefits. I'm sure hindi siya nahirapang palakihin si ano, no? Jesus. No? Kasi nga, um, anak na Diyos. I'm sure maraming bagay na... Yung unang miracle nga eh, di ba? Yung water turned into wine is in the respect of Mary. Mary's request, di ba? Okay, so there's a responsibility sa favor ng Panginoon and accountability. Uh, but uh, yun nga, meron din consequence. Ano yan, pakakasalan ba ako ni Joseph? Ano sasabihin ng mga tao? Di ba? Ano mangyayari? No? So yun yung consequence, yung trouble and anxiety and dilemma about those things. But God, when God gives us something, He, he will also fix all the issues or the concerns. No, make sure na maging maayos. No? Oo, may mga time na kailangan nilang tumakas, di ba? Kasi yung si Herod, papatay lahat ng bata. No, yung nervyos ka ba? Lahat na sa isang magulang may takbo si Jesus. No? Okay? So, the favor of the Lord has benefits and there are also consequences. The favor of God gives us power, provision, and peace. No? Uh, para ko nasabi niya, ng favor of God is the Holy Spirit will come upon you. Sinabi niya. The power of the Most High will overshadow you. So, meron yung okay, provision kung paano siya mabubuntis. Power from the Holy Spirit ay sumakan niya. No? And peace. No? Peace na itong mangyayari sa kanya ay uh, kalooban ng Diyos. Kaya sabi ng angel is, do not be afraid. Okay? So, the favor of God also gives us power, provision, and peace. Uh, so, feeling niyo po ba favored pa kayo, brothers and sisters? Favored ka? Ano? Ikaw mo, favored. Highly favored ang pamilyang ito, no? 
Mm -hmm. Oo, oh, may mga nangyayari man na ka, pumunta po kami ng agoong kasi namatay yung aming auntie. Ay, nagka-problema yung sinakyan namin na sasakyan and na uh, six and a half hours trip from Agoo to Baguio <laughs> with ten stops dahil na-stack up yung break kasi yung uh, ay kumukulo yung ano, lubumuluwak yung coolant and so on. Nakay problema. Nagpa-rescue po kami and then uh, Natutuwa kami nila, Arvin. Kasi kung saan kami mag-stop, yung moon pa ang nakatingin lagi sa amin. Inilawan lagi yung... <laughs> May mga picture nga ako, oops, nandiyan na naman si moon. Parang inilawan tayo palagi. You know? And um, yung mga nag-rescue din sa amin, very brave and courageous and helpful. So that's the favor of God. No? In times like this, hindi po Diyos si Prut ang makakatulong sa atin ng kagaya ng patalastas. In times and like that, the favor of the Lord is upon us. So, uh, kahit na pagod, nahirapan, you know, the peace of the Lord is upon us. And we cannot complain. We can only thank the Lord because it's by the grace of the Lord na nakarating po kami ng bagay. Pwede bang mag-drive ng walang preno? <laughs> manual break ang ginagamit. That's so, so something um, that we can only see in favor of God. Sa 10 stops na yon nandun yung buwan nakatingin sa amin all that time. No? Hindi malayo eh, no? Parang plus light lang dyan sa malapit, di ba? Ang galing. Yes, brothers and sisters, all of us are highly favored. No? When God created us na lang, no? He fearfully and wonderfully made us. And then, kung babasahin nga natin yung Psalm 8.4, Mohan, uh, sige nga, basahin mo. What is mankind that you are mindful, mindful of them? You human beings that you care for them? You, you have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them and with glory and honor. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet. All flocks and herds and the animals of the wild, the birds in the sky, and the fish in the sea, all that swim the paths of the seas. Mm -hmm, diba? So, ba, God cares for us. Sabi nga dito sa, sino ba ang tao na sobra naman? ang care mo sa kanila. Oo. Kahit nga anak niya, binigay niya, di ba? Sobra naman that you crown them with glory and honor. Wow. Lahat pa tayo may crown of glory and honor. We are created in His image and likeness. We are treated higher than all beings. Wow. That's in a favor, di ba? And what's more, no? What more? All of us sin, fall short, no, we deserve punishment, pero hindi. Hindi niya tayo pinarasahan. He actually sent His only begotten Son. For He loved the world so much. No? So when we celebrate Christmas, no, napat tandaan po natin, brothers and sisters, hindi po basta-basta yung nangyaring uh, sacrifice. No? Yung nangyaring um, manifestation ng pag-ibig ng Lord. That is to give His Son uh, that God came and dwelt among us. And Jesus sacrificed His Son as His life for us. Ano? So, hindi po ba su super favor yun? Wow. Super grace. Grace and favor. Yung, ibig sabi, yung sa ibang translation, yung favor is grace. No? Highly favored. No? So, these truths about Jesus coming and... Uh, the love of the Father being shown through this event ng Christmas is overwhelming na na-favor po sa ating lahat. So, sana po, no, when we celebrate this Christmas, hindi po yung regalo, hindi yung uh, mga dekorasyon, hindi yung festivities. Okay po yun, lahat, no? Uh, basta alam po natin bakit tayo nagsiselebrate. Na it's because of the Lord. Hindi yung, uh, all I want for Christmas is you. Hindi. <laughs> Hindi mga gano'n, no? Uh, 
this truth yung pagbigay ng Jesus ng kanyang yes to come as a God from a creator to be a creation, part of us. Wow, that's really a big, big, it takes love for him to do that. So Christmas is the start of the many favors that God has in store for us. So parang restart ulit itong Christmas na to, super favor. So kahit nga po sa pamilya namin, when I look at what God has done, all the favors surrounding us every day, kahit mga may nangyayari rin yung problema, hindi naman po tayo exempted dan, but God is always on the rescue. God is always showing up. No? God is showing up. Because sabi nga yan sa Psalm 512, no? Surely, Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with favor as with a shield. So, eh, tanggapin lang natin yung favor, eh. Pronounce lang natin that He surrounds us with favor every day. And we will see His goodness will manifest in our life. And we will be examples of God's goodness. I just realized nga po, no, while I'm writing this na, mas favored pa tayo kay Mother Mary. Diba? Mas favored pa tayo. Siya, yes, he bore the Son of God, no, nakasama niya ang Panginoon. Pero nasaktan din po siya ng husto. Noong uh, ang kanyang anak ay uh, pinaltrato, pinahirapan, namatay on the cross. I'm sure she did not expect na ganun ang mayayari sa kanyang anak, no? Hindi niya inisip na ganun pala ang magiging purpose ng kanyang buhay to be a savior of the world. Akala niya kingdom, akala niya ruler, no? So, tayo, mga kapatid, wala tayong ginawa. Tinanggap lang. Tinanggap lang natin si Jesus sa buhay Bili. natin. We believe in Him. And we will not perish na. And we will live life to the full na. Ang galing, ano? Pero si Mary, no? Oh, ang sakit nun sa isang ina na makitang pahirapan yung anak mo na laging in trouble. Mamaya, ihulog na sa cliff. Babatuhin na, no? Mga ganun ba? So, uh, I know she is favored, but sana ma-realize ma natin na wow, mas matinding favor ko. Ginawa na lahat. So we would come. Everything was done. So you would come. No, galeng at uh, si Mary nga ay saring instrument no, para mangyari lahat ang plano ng Panginoon. No? Okay, so uh, um, ano na, ano ang ating response, no, brothers and sisters, sa favor ng Panginoon sa buhay natin. So, we accept. We accept the favor of God, the grace of God in our lives, the salvation through Jesus Christ. No? Tanggapin natin si Lord Jesus. He is a gift to us. He is a manifestation of the great love of God for us. So, let's accept Him as our personal Lord and Savior. Makikita niyo po, hindi po kayo magsisisi. No? Ang Panginoon talagang Ah, overwhelming ang, ang kanyang love, no? Alam mo yung um, peace that passes understanding, yun yung naramdaman ko dito sa event namin na six and a half hours travel from Baguio. Ay, bago to Baguio, no? And, hindi ko maramdaman ang um, pag-alala. Dapat nag-alala ako, eh. Pero hindi, no? Yung peace ng Lord, hindi... It passes understanding. Totoo po yan. No? Um, yeah, talagang uh, alaga po tayo ng Panginoon. So, ano po ba ang pipigil sa atin para lumapit sa Diyos? Eh, yung mga pangako naman niya, igagawin naman niya. No? I think marami ang pumipigil lang kasi ayaw nating baguhin yung dati nating ways. No? Kasi siyempre, habang lumalapit tayo sa ilaw, nag-iilaw din yung buhay natin. Yung mga darkness natin ay uh, nare-reveal at unti-unting nawawala yung darkness kasi naiilawan tayo. Okay, so what should be our response of, sa favor and grace ng Panginoon to Jesus? Sabi sa Hebrews, 
Kamboli to the throne of grace. Oh, wag tayo mahiya. Kamboli to the throne of grace. Seek and enjoy God's presence in your life. And of course, share Jesus. Share Jesus. And be grateful of God's favor and grace in our life. So, ano ulit? Ang response sa favor and grace ng Panginoon through Christmas to so the Lord Jesus coming, no? Accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, no? Come boldly to the throne, seek and enjoy His presence. Share Jesus to others and be grateful of God's favor. No? Pero na kung alam na kanta na uh, gusto ko awitin sa inyo uh, habang Uh, sandali lang naman, bago yung last song natin. Ang title po ay, I Wish You Jesus. I could wish you joy and peace to last a whole life long. I could wish you sunshine or a simple little song. Or wish you all the happiness that this life could bring. But I wish you Jesus. But I wish you Jesus. Cause when I wish you Jesus, I've wished you everything. Amen. We wish you Jesus for this Christmas. Bye-bye. Thank you.